Hello all and welcome to another book talk. This book talk is on historical fiction book. And again, with the whole COVID-19 thing, the libraries are still close. I will just be discussing a book. Um, I actually do own the book, but it is not my house. This is at my parents' house um, in boxes that have been there for years. So um, I do not have the book in front of me, but the book that I wanted to talk about today is called The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. It is a historical fiction book based on the Holocaust <clears throat> and a story that was written from that. And The Boy in the Striped Pajamas is all about um, Bruno and Shmuel. And Bruno is a young boy who leaves his home in Berlin to go and live near a concentration camp um, after Adolf Hitler comes and asks his father to become a commander of this concentration camp called Outwith. While Bruno is first living um, near this concentration camp, he is a very adventurous boy. And he goes out and he's walking along the fence line of the concentration camp. And while he's walking along the fence line, he meets a boy the exact same age as him with the same birthday named Shmuel. They become very, very close and over the amount of time they spend every single day together. No matter rain or shine, Bruno will always go out and see him and he is constantly taking him food. Um, Shmuel is the boy in the striped pajamas. He is a prisoner um, of the Holocaust and he is on the other side of the fence from Bruno. They, neither boy really knows what goes on. Um, they're kind of oblivious to the whole situation of the Holocaust and what is actually going on. Um, especially Bruno, you know, his dad is one of the leaders and now he has befriended a boy that is on the other side of the fence. He is one of the ones that his father is, um, you know, trying to kill and you know making him work and slave and everything so um anyway so bruno is always bringing him food and they decide at one point um shmuel's father had gone missing and so bruno decided that he was going to go across the fence one day and help him find him um so bruno climbs the side of the fence and um shmuel has a pair of striped pajamas for bruno to put on and while they are walking around the camp looking for Shmuel's father, they are caught in a marching line, taking them into a gas chamber, which Bruno thinks is just going to get them out of the rainstorm that had started happening. Um, when I was in elementary school, I read this book as an English project class in my English class. And I just remember crying throughout a lot of this book because it was such a real thing that happened. You know, concentration camps were real and they did... It, it killed so many people and the stories that have come out of that are so heartbreaking. Um, and this was just one of those books that was written about the concentration camps and about um, just how sad they were and about the trueness that does come from them. Um, I know that there is a movie from it. I have not seen it um, as the book just really made me really sad and I never really wanted to watch the movie and be sad all over again. Um, but this is a very wonderful book and I really highly encourage you to read it if you have never read it before. Um, it really does, it's a really, really good book. It's very easy to follow um, and I just remember very much enjoying it even though it wasn't necessarily an enjoyable topic. It really does talk a lot about Holocaust and just, um, like I said, just how real it was. So thank you so much for listening and I hope that you guys are having a great day.